Okay, welcome back. In the last video, we installed Unity 2019.4. Another prerequisite for this course is an application called Docker Desktop. Now it's beyond the scope of this video to dive fully into what Docker is, but let's get started with downloading it and then we'll have a brief explanation of what it is and how we can use it for Nakama. To do that, we're gonna type docker.com and here you'll see a get started button. We're gonna click on that. And what you want is Docker Desktop. It says here, developer productivity tools and a local Kubernetes environment. Again, you don't need to know what any of this means for now. We're gonna download the Windows client since I'm on a Windows machine here, or you can alternatively download the Mac client if you're running on a Mac. We're gonna click on that and download it. And while we're waiting for that to install, let's just briefly go and have a look at what Docker is by clicking the Y Docker link here. So if you scroll through this page, and I'll let you do this at your own leisure, it basically tells you that Docker is a platform that allows developers to ship products in what's known as a container. Now, I'm not gonna dive too far into the details of what a container is, but in this instance, Nakama have provided a Nakama container, and we can run that within the Docker desktop client, and that allows us to spin up our own version of a Nakama server with great ease, and it makes the whole process incredibly simple to get up and running with. Now we can see that it's finished downloading. I'm gonna click on Docker Desktop here. Let's just install that. Okay, so the installation has succeeded here, so we're gonna close that, and we're just gonna run Docker Desktop just to ensure that it's all working. And you can see down here, it says Docker is starting. It says Linux containers, WSL2 backend is starting. Now, if you're on Windows, you may need to go to a web browser and type in WSL2 install, and you'll probably need to install the Windows subsystem for Linux. Now you can follow the link here and there's a page that explains exactly how you do that. I'm not gonna go into that in this video, but if you are on a Windows machine, you can read this description here and that will give you all the information you need. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. Okay, so now we have Docker Desktop installed and running. We can see that if we click on the show hidden icons here, we can see our Docker desktop icon. It looks like a whale with some cargo on top. We're gonna to double click on it. And you can see here that we have the Docker desktop client. Once you have this running, you can simply close that and you're ready to move on to the next video.